Hello, um, welcome to our first uh, asynchronous Python lesson. I mean, I'm, I guess I'm ignoring the first week of school when you did everything asynchronously, but here we are on the 26th. Um, I'm gonna walk you through a couple of things. So um, uh, first we're watching this video um, and today's asynchronous meaning you're on your own, mostly. So I'll be able to answer emails if you have questions. First, um, watch the video, you're, you're watching it right now. And then second, do the assignment that I'm gonna post on the Google Classroom. It's day seven, intro to math. And so you're gonna make a program on the REPL website and you're gonna turn in a link to the program when you're done. And then, uh, and you wanna do this sometime today, Wednesday, um, uh, as best you can. All right, and then we have regular class on Thursday. So I'm gonna go, uh, to REPL right now, and I'm gonna make a new REPL uh, for Python, and I'm gonna call it day seven notes. You don't have to do this in parallel, you can just watch for now. I mean, we have this video, right? You can watch it later if you want. Um, and I wanna show you uh, some mathy things. So I'm gonna make a variable A equals 10. I'm gonna make another variable B, B equals five. And then we're gonna do some math with uh, these things. So first, uh, oh yeah, I'm gonna just for good measure put my name up here, Mr. Hayes, day seven notes, eight, 26, 20. So if you could try to do that sort of thing at the top of all your programs, that would be awesome. Um, I'm gonna show you, we can add things using a plus sign. So A plus B, we run this, we're gonna get 15, right? Um, so addition works just like you would think. You can also say, uh, you know, 140 plus a really weird number. You know, you don't have to use variables if you want to do addition. Um, you can just use numbers, but um, often in programs we're going to be using variables. Um, uh, I'm going to print A minus B. Uh, I think, yeah, that'd be fine. I'm going to print a times b so times is the star character the asterisk which is uh above um uh, it's shift eight um we'll run that make sure i haven't broken anything and yeah, five times ten is uh, or ten times five is fifty and divided by is the forward slash that's uh next to the uh question mark all right, and then we have uh, uh, powers, a to the b power, that's like, uh, in this case, it's 10 to the fifth power, 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. So that'll be uh, 100,000. Um, so that's how you do a power, just two stars. I wouldn't have expected you to know that ahead of time. And then, uh, Let's see, uh, I'll throw you a couple other powers here. You know, uh, 10 squared is 100, right? So um, I'm just showing you that um, without it being variables. Um, let's see. The last function that, uh, or operator I want you to learn for today and practice with is called modulo, modulo. All right, not module, not found error. Um, modulo, uh, I'm, I'm not interested in having it auto-correct my typing. Uh, modulo is the uh, percentage sign. And what this does is it takes the first number, divides it by the second number, and gives us the remainder. So let's do uh, 10, modulo five. Now 10 divided by five is two and there's no remainder. So when we do this, we'll get zero. So we get zero at the very end over here. All right. Um, so let's try uh, 10 modulo three. So think about this, 10 divided by three, 10, three goes into 10 three times and there's a remainder of one, right? So what prints out is the remainder. Uh, and in fact, any odd number, so 111 modulo 2, 
when you divide any odd number by two, uh, you get a remainder of one, right? In fact, we'll use this down the line as trying to figure out if a number is odd or even. You just divide, uh, you use the modulo function and see if you get a one, that means it's an odd number. And uh, if you get zero, uh, it means it's an even number. So let's do that. Uh, print 120 modulo two. We're going to get an, uh, a zero because 120 divided by two, uh, it goes in evenly. There's no remainder. Okay, so for um, uh, for today's assignment, I'm asking you to print a bunch of mathy things, and I want you to print it like this. So if we have, if we go back to my A and B, uh, I want you to be able to say A, and then to print more than one thing in a single print command, you can use a comma. So A, comma, and then we're going to go quote plus quote B, comma, quote equals quote, comma, and then A plus B. So this is a lot to take in, but let's, by the way, this is a little auto format button. It adds spaces and makes things prettier. So what this is going to print is first the variable A, then it's going to print a plus sign. The plus sign has to be in quotes here because it's like a piece of text. Then it's going to print a B, then it's going to print an equal sign, also has to be in text, I mean in quotes. And then it's going to print the answer of A plus B. So watch this. We'll run it, and it prints this nice, nicely formatted thing um, uh, down here at the bottom. Um, I'm getting rid of all the other stuff. So hey, 10 plus 5 is 15. And uh, I'm going to ask you to, uh, I'm copying this, Control C. Uh, I'm going to paste it, Control V. And I'm going to change it, the next line, to be a minus. So I change it there, and I change it right here. And now when we run this, we get a, you know, 10 plus 5 is 15, 10 minus 5 is 5, and um, and so on. I want you to uh, do this, uh, well, let's look at the assignment. So the assignment uh, is right here. Um, it's, uh, I'll, I'll have it posted on the Google Classroom, but, you know, name and a comment at the top, a print statement that prints your name, don't forget to put it in quotes, Create two variables, store numbers into them, and then print out these two numbers and the results using the six operators that I showed you in today's video. So I show you an example, uh, just like I just typed, but this is the sort of output I want you to print out. Uh, I don't want to just get the 12, the 8, the 20, the 5, the 100, and the 0. I want to see what the problem was um, on the line. Um, anyway, and it's due today. So let's go back to REPL. And uh, yeah, I think that'll do it. So if you're stuck, uh, oh, and let me just, for printing out your name, don't forget to put it in quotes. Because uh, if you just, uh, let's try it. I'll show you what happens. If you, print, if you print without quotes, Python thinks that Mr. is a variable or your name. And it's like, it says, hey, Mr. is not defined. So <laughs> yeah, um, you can't have a variable. Uh, you can't print a variable before you put something in it, you know, um, and in this case, we weren't even trying to do a variable. We were trying to do a name. Okay, so I hope this, this video helps. Remember, you can watch it again. You can back it up, and, 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 uh, and then also you can open your own REPL and be trying, trying these things. And then if you uh, run into trouble while you're trying to do your program, you can do share and say copy link. And you can email me that link and say, Mr. Hayes, I'm having trouble. I can't figure out what's wrong with line seven. You know, that, that sort of thing. And, uh, and I can, uh, if you send me a link using that share button, I can actually fix it for you and leave you a little comment. And I can email you back or I can just reply. All right, well, good luck. And I'll see you on Thursday.